Namaste ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about Buddhism, we're going to talk about the Dalai Lama, uh, he's been in some hot water of late, so stick around and listen, but we're going to try and do it respectfully, so let's give it a go. Namaste again ladies and gentlemen, yes this is the report from Tiger Mountain, we're going to talk about the recent situation with the Dalai Lama, let's have a look here, what's he been up to? Oh dear. Dear me. Well, uh, you know, he's, uh, well, you know, I don't know how to put it. He's been, he asked the boy to uh, suck his tongue. Now, look, in normal circumstances, I'd say that's as dodgy as you can get, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, it was very strange. Uh, and he was doing it uh, on camera in front of, uh, uh, you know, in front of uh, cameras from around the world. So what the hell was going on there? I think, you know, he was like, you know, give us a kiss or something. And I think maybe the boy kissed his cheek. Uh, and then he was like, uh, stuck out his tongue and said, give us a lick my tongue or something, suck my kiss to, uh, you know, um, to quote a song by the Red Hot Chili Peppers from the 1990s. So, you know, that was uh, deeply inappropriate. And obviously he did actually issue an apology for that. Now, I mean, you know, I think a lot of people within the, uh, the right wing community instantly went, aha, there you go, look at that. You know, just like the Catholic priests, uh, dodginess um, in uh, in the uh, um, Buddhist uh, priesthood, whether it be Tibetan, whether it be whatever. And you know, that might well be true, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, obviously, I do think that there is a problem in, in, in the world's priest classes with this. I think it is a job that many homosexual men might have gone into, being a priest, uh, whether it be a Catholic priest, uh, an imam or a Buddhist priest. Um, so there probably is a kind of uh, rampant homosexuality in these kind of um, communities. Uh, and sadly, it's kind of technically forbidden within those communities. So it's not as if they could actually have healthy relationships. So many of them, uh, I think, um, formed unhealthy relationships with, with, with younger, younger men and boys. So I think, you know, that is a problem all over the world in the, in essentially the priest class, whether it be Catholic, whether it be uh, Muslim, or whether it be, um, you know, rabbis or whether it be uh you know a buddhist so i think it's a problem all over the world ladies and gentlemen but like what was going on with the dalai lama i i, I don't think you know that necessarily i mean you know maybe it was a, just a lack of judgment i mean he is getting on maybe it was a kind of you know what's it called a, a seniors moment um you know uh, but there's a tradition apparently this came out later that there is some tradition where um parents in um in tibetan custom they will give a sweet to, to children on their tongue or something maybe he was imitating that maybe you know it was something along those lines um you know i mean i must admit i've never got a particularly bad vibe from the dalai lama before he does seem interesting um like he does seem to be a legitimate spiritual teacher i've always sort of admired um buddhism i i'm myself a christian uh, but I don't consider myself overtly dogmatic. I'm fascinated by the other world religions, um, the big four, which is, um, you know, obviously uh, Christianity, uh, Islam, uh, Judaism, and Buddhism. Buddhism, to me, probably after Christianity, is the is the religion that most interests me. I just find something very interesting about it. I've travelled quite a bit in Southeast Asia and, and Asian countries. Obviously, Buddhism is everywhere there, from Japan to Thailand to Bali, etc. So it's fascinating. They they use swastikas as a symbol of peace in those countries. Um, you know, it's really fascinating. Um, the beliefs of, of Buddhism, so I think it's something everyone should look into. I've always got a pretty good vibe, um, so I, I, I hate to say it, but I'm probably going to give the Dalai Lama a pass here. I think that, you know, he, it was probably misunderstood. Maybe it was a senior's moment. Obviously, it was, um, you know, uh, something that uh, was dodgy. I even think he realises it later. I mean, hopefully it was an isolated example. He hasn't done this before. It is slightly disturbing he does this in front of cameras because what does he do in private? Um, you know, I mean, is it a kind of um, uh, symbolic of a kind of pedophile elite that the kind of Q uh, conspiracy, um, you know, believes is going? It, it could be. It could be, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe he is dodgy. Um, it is possible, but I think, you know, uh, let's look for other examples that, that, that this has taken place because this one incident might just be a one-off thing and you know you have to give people um, the benefit of the doubt sometimes because he has done a lot of good in some ways and also too another interesting thing about the Dalai Lama is because the Chinese government particularly hates him so anything that's negative uh, about the Dalai Lama because apparently this event happened months ago it happened in February it only came out in the news cycle now you know it's interesting the way that the news didn't run this story until you know maybe it's Chinese propaganda um, obviously the Chinese government has a um you know has quite an interest in defaming and um essentially um sidelining the dalai lama due to their claims over tibet and obviously as the um you know war 
is brewing as it is now over Taiwan. I mean, I expect that to kick off in the next couple of months, probably, or maybe the next six months to a year. Um, you know, I think, you know, it could have, uh, what's going on with the Dalai Lama and this recent kind of a um, negative publicity about it could have something to do with China. And obviously we don't want to go along with that. So it is a very difficult situation. Obviously it was kind of dodgy what happened. Hopefully it is a one-off incident. Let's see if anything else comes out. But, uh, you know, um, it's something to consider, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on there? And, and I think it's something, it is a much deeper issue about the priest class around the world. Um, you know, obviously people have sexuality and if people are gay within the, um, within the priesthood, fine. You know what, they should be able to express their sexuality with adults, ladies and gentlemen, with adults, not with children. So, you know, that's, that's, that's my thoughts on all that. And that's the report from Tiger Mountain for this week. Thank you.